So, practice mode is a known fact that the best way to try and learn something is to teach it, to learn it quickly and let it sink in, is to teach it. So, I bought this theory book as part of my music course ages ago and I've barely touched it. So, I'm going to start going a page a day and I'm going to try and take you guys through some of the principles. So, the book is Mark Levine's... In fact, let me show you. Jazz Theory. Yeah, the actual actual book is about almost a hundred quid. This was some printed version from Amazon for about 22 quid. Yeah, I'm gonna try and teach you, show you a simple explanation of the chords in melodic minor. Now, if you've not heard of melodic minor before, it's just a fancy name for a scale. The scale is a minor scale, natural minor scale with a natural seventh and natural sixth, or so major seventh and major sixth interval. So that should sound something like this. So normal minor. Harmonic minor. So it sounds like a major scale until you get down to the minor third. For this, I'm going to jump to the iPad and run some chords on piano. I can't play piano. On the screen you now can see the exercise and in figure 108, 3 108, it kind of just walks you through the chords of an F melodic minor. That, if I can remember this correctly, so using iPad, garage band, honestly, keys on this are actually pretty decent okay and then we've got from A flat it's a very bond chord that minor major 7 is, the, is that bond chord that's what it is bond so that's our one in this case is first chord in a oh, I'm not doing well the first chord in a melodic minor minor major seven now what this exercise is showing is showing that when we think of melodic minor to think of the key of melodic minor as a, as a scale as a sound as opposed to individual chords because of the way it's structured there don't have to be any accident there's no avoid notes in it so we can play the same voicing in the right hand on piano with an F in the bass and then I can just change the bass note but this voicing up top will still work so here you've got root third fifth root minor third perfect fifth major seven and a nine so it makes it almost a minor major nine. Then we go to the G. A flat. B flat. And we're going, and then we're going straight to the D in this example. to the E. I'm gonna add the fifth in just so it sounds a bit more natural. So in that context then, you can play the same voicing on any chord within the melodic minor scale. So if you found a voicing you liked on the F minor major 9, you could do that 
and then play the same voicing and just play the root note or drop out and let the bass player play the root note. So for us bass players, it's less relevant, but it just means that when we see that, when we see chords from the melodic minor, if we can recognize where it's from, we can play that same melodic minor and just think melodic minor as opposed to a particular chord in this case. The bottom example is showing a tritone substitution. So this is our F7 sharp 11. And then we're going to an E major 7. And we're going to a B7 altered, which is a tritone away from the F7. Now, tritone away, meaning six semitones. Tritone substitution is when you take a dominant chord and you swap it for another dominant chord, a tritone away. So instead of going back to the F7, altered, we can go to a B, F7 sharp 11, we can go to a B7 altered. So, in the right hand, and left hand and together tasty chord that and then going back to the E7 and probably a really bad hash at trying to explain any of that but essentially melodic minor think about the scale as a whole and then if I grab my I'm gonna grab my bass in a minute and we're going to go over the same examples. So basically, if the chords are in melodic minor, you can play the same melody, the same pattern, the same um, same chord shape, depending on your instrument. You can play the same melodic line over all those chords and it will sound good. So... <laughs> Same over all these chords, same notes, now I'll try and get a bit more um, harmonic flavour. So, a relatively weak attempt of demonstrating that example, but it will um, hopefully at least help you get familiar with the sound of melodic minor, helping me get familiar with the sound of melodic minor, how different intervals sound over the top of that. So in the second example, it's around C, the F sharp and the B dominant comes from C sharp, C melodic minor. So this example sounds like this. Then we get E major. And then we get to the B, which is a tritone away. So if I was to... to major now major melodic and then major again so C melodic minor E major Thank you. 
between C melodic minor because that's where the chords are coming from so flipping between the two you kind of get that sweet resolve so from that question I always think melodic minor is more of a question sounding scale so in the first case we had an how can I play an F7 sharp 11 so you get the sound like this the chord itself is quite a big question and then over the top of that between them 